Oi, it's the clock boy. This is Henry. Henry was a strange boy. N no, no, Henry, this is an autumn story. That's better. Now Henry may look like a duck and quack like a duck, but he is a man, not a duck, you silly person. Despite his appearance, one that could be passable for normal, his personal life is far from conventional. Where other boys his age may be interested in sins of the flesh, Henry was far more interested in sins of the oak. Henry has always been a quiet and introverted boy, a Norman Bates in the flesh. His favorite film is The Poseidon Adventure, and his pockets always contain a photograph from a war he did not fight in, and two clocks, one of which did not work. Clocks have always been a constant in Henry's life. He saw them as friends, and in a very structured life, even an unconventional friend was a valued one. Now to be fair, friend may be a less apt word than lover, in Henry's case. But this did not seem to bother him. He lived and let live, but was still sure to keep his affair out of the public eye. No, 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 no. Who have you told? How, how could you do this to me? You ruined it all, you could have had everything. Who sticks their cock in a clock? You're afraid. Asshole. Try it. If I can't have you, no one can. No, 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 that won't work. No, no. No, no, no. Uh. Henry, Henry, stop. It's okay, you don't have to do this. Henry, stop! Henry, what are you doing? Don't. You love him, it's fine. We never found out what happened to the clock after Henry's affair went public. But for him, well, let's say he's hanging in there.